Okay, YouTube, I thought I'd uh, share a little thing I've been working on. Um, what I've been doing is um, I've got the Goltec inside the ST. Um, they have to change any of the input if, if you like. They have to chisel anything out here or cut anything out, it's all fitted fine. Buttons are a bit tight there to move up and down, so I actually ran the wires to these buttons here, so these two buttons move up and down if you like to select the next game and so on um, and then what I did was these here are the joystick and the mouse and what I did was um, the ports the, the ports under, underneath the actual ST I ran wires up and through the machine here you can't really see it really so it's a nice clean setup because if you look there you can't actually see how the how the Goltec is being powered and you can't see how the, the mouse and the joystick is connected it's just it's like a wireless unit but really I've ran wires from here snaked them up through here and then connected them to these ports here but yeah, I'm pretty chuffed of it. I actually love the ST. Obviously, it's a good alternative to the Amiga. And um, I know there's a lot of ST haters and ST lovers, but I actually love the fact that some games are better on the ST and some games are actually better on the Amiga. So having both is the best of both worlds. So I'll just quickly go into the menu just to show you how that looks if you want. reboot just turn the light off so here's the menu with these are the slots what I've got on each slot game wise so as I was like you just saw before and the new um, firmware for the Goltec now supports .st so you can actually run .st files, you don't have to convert them anymore. Uh, one of my favourite um, favorite folders is the compilations because these are the ones I remember from back in the day. There's quite a lot in this folder so it might take a bit to load but I'll just quickly show you. So these are the cracking groups back in the day, so Automotion, Midway Boys and Pompey Pirates and if you're going to say automation there's quite a lot of folders in here I think it's 512 to be in it to be honest all different uh, discs so I've, I've put them all in folders to make it easier so I'm not scrolling down 512 different items and then in here are the are the discs and what you do is you just assign the disc to a slot down the bottom, see so it says slot zero 01. So if I go and put this in slot one, you'll see it here now, and then save it. There you go. Um, these demos are nowhere near as good as Amiga. Like, this hasn't even got sound, so obviously this is the first one. But still very good though. Kind of niche. And um, I prefer having, like I say, the joysticks and the mouse up here. Because now some games you have to swap them over and it's such a killer. Because one, one of my dislikes about the ST is the ports for these. It's actually underneath the, I don't know if you can see it's actually underneath there which is a right nightmare to get to to keep swapping so it's a lot easier up there um, but that's about it yeah anyway I'll leave it there thanks for watching